Alright, so hey guys, welcome to the Warframe video, and today we're gonna take a quick look at yet another Kuva weapon, and this time around it is going to be the Kuva Seer, or rather my variant of the Kuva Seer, the Over the Og Kuva Seer. Now you get the Kuva Seer, just like any other Kuva weapon, from a late, so you either need to keep spawning liches until you get one that is equipped with the Kuva Seer, or you need to buy a lich that's equipped with the Kuva Seer, and once you vanquish him, you'll be able to pick it up in your foundry. The Kuva Seer requires you to be at least Mastery Rank 15 to use and it does 131 damage per shot, 68.1 is Puncture, 36.7 is Slash and 26.2 is Impact. However, there is also an explosion that happens on Impact which splashes 69 corrosive damage in an area of 1.9 meters. And no, the corrosive splash does not do any self damage. And other than that, the weapon comes with a 9 round magazine with a 2.3 second reload, it has pretty solid 21% crit chance with a slightly below average 1.9 times crit multiplier and really good 33% status chance. Also, while the Kuvas here is not a hit scan weapon, so the projectiles have travel time, they move incredibly fast, so it's barely even noticeable. And finally, let's also do a quick comparison to the standards here, where we can see that it is just better in every way, shape or form, with the exception of impact damage, which is not actually a bad thing. Now, once again, since this is a Kuva weapon, you ideally want to put on 5 format to extract all the mastery from it and to unlock the ability to equip a lens, but the one I ended up going with requires 3 format, all 3 of which are AV. So I'm running Hornet Strike for damage, Brawl Diffusion for multi shot, Lethal Torrent for fire rate and multi shot, Prime Pistol Gambit for crit chance, and Target Cracker for crit damage, and then I have D ranked Pistol Ammo Mutation because I would have to add another format just to max it out, and you don't need all the mutation in the world, you just need some because the ammo reserves in the Kuvas here are pretty low. Moving on from there, we have stunning speed, and this is something that I put on in the end because I was really not feeling that 2.3 second reload, and it's because the fire rate on the weapon is pretty high, so you can empty your magazine really fast. And to tip it all off, we have Pistol Pestilence and Jolt for corrosive damage and status chance, though if you are fighting the corpus, especially at higher levels, I would take out Jolt and put in Scorch for gas. Now I know some of you might say that it's kind of dumb to put a reload mod on a weapon and then do a damage test, but it still performs pretty well even with stunning speed. And at the end of the day, if you feel like this isn't performing quite up to your standards, you can always take Stunning Speed out and replace it with either Scorch or actually what I would recommend, Primed Heated Charge. Which is gonna be extra spicy if you get your Kuvas here with either Bonus Electricity or Toxin to balance out the amount of Corrosive and Heat. Or you know, you can just be a smart person, unlike me, and aim for headshots. Now, even though I've already said this, I'm gonna say it again, do not use corrosive against high level corpus. Because while it can still kill them relatively fast, it's gonna take far too many shots and you're gonna run out of ammo. So just use gas, which is much better, especially if you have extra toxin on your kuvas here, because that's gonna add to the damage over time effect the gas proc leaves behind. And it also gives you a nice chunk of extra AoE. And now we come to the conclusion, and let me tell you, out of all the Kuva weapons that I've tried so far, this one surprises me the most, because the one thing I did not expect when testing out the new Kuva Seer was for the first enemy I shot to go whoosh into the sky. There was a proper wait what moment, followed immediately by childish giggling. And it never really went away, the giggling, because the sheer amount of power the bolts have is ridiculous. It's like you're strapping jetpacks so that they just whoosh and they're gone. It's mostly why in the end I ended up going with the hit fire approach and I put on stunning speed because when I was headshotting enemies they just weren't flying far enough. That combined with me constantly being kind of annoyed that the reload is too long throughout the entire format process was enough to finally put it on. And I'm glad that I did because it made the weapon even more fun than it was before. Though once again if you do not care about silliness you can squeeze way more damage out of the Kuvas here by simply putting in scorch or primed heated charge instead of stunning speed and in that case it will carry you through the entire game including high ranking. Lich hunts. So, if you see the Kuvas here on your Lich, I would definitely recommend you pick it up because it is a ton of fun and it can do a ton of damage as well if you build for it. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.